it's January. It's January. Wait a minute. I've already done a couple of videos. This year. <laughs> I'm thinking this is my first video of the year, but it's not. I've done two or three videos already. But this is the official, the healthy hair journey is over, child. I don't know about you, but I'm glad because I'm ready to try some products. They'll let you know what type of junk you am. I'm like, I'm ready for I'm ready for a hit. I'm ready for some conditioner. Um, but we are at, at least I am at the end of my six month healthy hair journey that I started in August, and it went by like that. It went by so fast. This is why when you guys ask me for advice on hair growth, on yada yada yada, I let you know two things: be consistent and be patient. I had a diagram here, those of you who don't remember, I shared this and you can view it through my Google documents. I will be linking it down below. And it's basically a document of what I plan to do during my six months to healthy hair. And this is what basically what it looked like. I know you really can't see there. Can you see that? Is that? Anyway, like I said, I will be linking it down below in the description box. But I'm gonna go through some, well, I'll go through all of them. And then I'll let you know what I really learned about my hair last year. Um, right now, it is in a stretch out state. It is looking fabulous. I'll turn around to the back in a minute too. I don't know what the back is doing. My hair is up. Y'all, I knew the front was up, but I didn't know the back was up. So, um, this right here is two week. I took it down yesterday, two week, two week twist basically. So a uh, really old twist, really old hair. But um, yeah, anyway, should probably take this down too. All right. So let me go ahead and give y'all some hair porn and show y'all what my hair looks like. What is this? A bobby pin, girl. <sighs> So this is what we're looking at like. Yeah, she's dirty, but. All right. That's what the back is looking like. Okay. Body, 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 body. So one of the first things I had on my list here was low manipulation styling. Absolutely. That was one of the things that I really, really wanted to aim for keeping my hands out of my hair. I know that's something that a couple of you struggle with. It's really not something that I necessarily struggle with. The thing about me is I love to wear different hairstyles. I love, I don't like doing my hair. I know this is crazy. I don't like doing my hair. I absolutely cringe to do my hair. But I like different hairstyles on these, if that makes sense. So um, I did stick to that. I wore my hair in twists um, quite often. And it was very easy to do, um, very low manipulation. I think I did about, I did about two to three hairstyles a month, which is honestly, was a lot more than I had intended on, but I was okay with that, was perfectly fine with that. So next up on the list is simple wash regimen. Absolutely. Um, I basically wash my hair, meaning with a shampoo, um, every three weeks. However, I put it like this, y'all. I really listen to my hair. If my hair felt that I needed build up, if I used a product or did a, a style that wasn't all that great a wash and go, I went ahead and washed my hair. I didn't wait for another two weeks to wash my hair. So I also did apple cider vinegar rinses in between that. Again, depending on how my hair was responding at that time. Um, I washed my hair in twist quite often that saved me tons of time and I should meaning co-washed and sometimes I shampooed my hair while in twists um and again apple cider vinegar rinse and twists so yeah I stuck to that I stuck to a very simple um wash regimen I use the same products suave or vo5 I didn't use anything well I had that cream of nature I didn't use anything new I should say because I didn't want to shock my hair out basically so um, I stuck to the same products I didn't go out and venture and get anything that or at least a line that I wasn't familiar with I stuck with the same stuff Suave VO5 cream of nature basically drugstore Giovanni I added to my leave-in and basically I used the Kimmy tube leave-in as my leave-in and I was I've been really good about moisturizing my hair spraying water sometimes spraying a mixture of water and conditioner um, so yeah, as far as other products, 
um, castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil, excuse me, has been my go-to oil. Um, I've been using it along my edges. I've been massaging in my scalp. I'm on my second bottle of a, I mean, it's a four ounce bottle, but I, I went through it fast. I find it down here while I'm talking to y'all. But um, yeah, I mean, I went through that stuff. Yeah, here's my second bottle and it's down here. I just got this like three weeks ago, but I've been adding this to my oil mixtures. I've been adding it sometimes to my conditioner to do almost like a conditioner slash oil, oil rinse. Um, I love to make a black castor oil. Yeah, so just ensuring that my hair is properly moisturized and I mean, properly moisturized because it's a little bit cooler here cooler meaning like 50 degrees child but i ensured that typically i'll put it like this typically i would wet my hair really quick do cream and oil these this time you guys i really took the time to lift up half my hair go through and i mean it was a process making sure the product was evenly on my hands got that from nappy head jojoba squeezing the product in all the way in from root to end yeah really taking my time to do that um so oh and the other thing here excuse me was um eating healthy i did overall up until like three weeks ago <laughs> Um, so the things that I really didn't do was I wanted to stick to finger detangling and I just found that that was just was not feasible for the amount of hair I had, I have, excuse me, and for the simple fact that my hair was in twists for three weeks straight, I need to ensure that, um, I got all that shedded hair out. So I would typically go in between using my wooden comb or a pick and finger detangling. Um, some detangling sessions, it may it may just be the wooden comb. You know, the next month it may just just be me. You know, finger detangling. I guess my overall point is that I wasn't afraid to use a comb while finger detang while detangling my hair. I should say. Um, I didn't do hot oil treatments monthly. I think I said that I only did hot oil treatments twice the entire six months because I was like. Oh. <laughs> got time for that. So some things that I learned about my hair is that I have to be consistent. I cannot, I can have a lazy day, but I can't have a lazy month. Does that make sense? I cannot, you know I'm serious because I'm clapping. I cannot wear my hair loose for more than two or three days. Like this right here, I'm gonna have to do something. And in all honesty, I just took this down last night and look at what it's, look what it's doing. This is what it's doing. I have not separated my hair. So by day two or day three, it's going to be a mess. So yeah, wearing my hair loose is not an option for me. Um, I have to retwist by the second day, second or third day. Third day is kind of pushing it. I really do I need to make sure that while I'm cleansing my hair, shampooing my hair, I really pay attention to my scalp. I really make sure that the product is all rinsed out of my hair. It's really hard when you have thick hair, when you're in the shower, you know, it's just really hard to ensure that everything is out. So, um, yeah. <laughs> What else did I learn about my hair? Of course, being consistent. Um, my hair responds better to better products. Absolutely. Um, I started incorporating some Jane Carter products into my regimen, which I was a Jane, I'm a huge Jane Carter fan, by the way. And that is all I primarily use. Between Shea Moisture and Jane Carter, the first three years I went natural. So I do have a Jane Carter wash day coming up um, probably in like a week or two. And so yes, I went back to using her shampoo while sometimes using, you know, um, VO5 shampoo or suave shampoo. And to be quite honest, um, honest with you guys, even though I enjoy all the products from VO5 or suave, I only stick to about two or three. And that is it. I don't go crazy and just get random stuff. Um, because let's just be honest, it's 99 cents for a reason. So, um, I'm very curious once I start doing product reviews again to how my hair is going to respond to some of these other um, hairlines. So anyway, yeah, my hair, and I think everyone can agree with that, my hair responds a lot better when I use better products. I've enjoyed not doing my hair. Um, some products that I will uh, possibly, I know for sure that I would never ever use again, at least on me for right now. Um, I don't know if I want to say this because I, I feel like I may be changing my mind. Echo Style Gel is going to have to be a no for me. 
um when i've done wash and goes the best wash and goes and this is funny the best wash and goes i've got was with the ic fantasia and using aloe vera gel isn't that funny and so yeah i'm gonna have to stay off of the echo style gel for a while it's a no pink oil moisturizer we already know about that actually i cleaned the reason why i mentioned this is that i cleaned out my products just last week and i tossed a lot of stuff that i know i just I won't be able to be using anymore um yeah you guys so some things that i will continue to do of course is um using jamaican black castor oil is absolute yeah i'm gonna be adding not as much but i will be continuing with that i will be continuing to finger, finger detangle and use a comb as needed um i will deep condition i don't even know if i mentioned that i deep conditioned basically it was every time i washed my hair I make sure I get conditioned. Um, sometimes I use a heat cap with heat, but every time I use Queen Helen's cholesterol. So with that being said, going forward, I will look into um, adding hydrolyzed wheat protein. I'll probably do a protein treatment like every three or four months um, and then follow that up with a moisturizing deep conditioner. You always want to do that. Um, I did get rid of, I had like an extra after that African pride one. I had to disable the comments on that video, child. So I still prefer the ORS. Because doesn't ORS has one? Like a like a protein treatment. I still prefer them over African Pride or Africa's Best. I believe it's what it is. So yes, hydrolyzed wheat protein as needed. Because sometimes we don't need protein. We think we do, but we really don't. Um, continuing on with the Jamaican black castor oil, like I said. And just really listening to my hair, you guys, and not trying to do too much. I think a lot of us are doing too much. You know, I'm not going to be doing anything new. I ain't going to be doing, doing no damn Vicks Vapor Rub. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But I'm not going to be walking around here smelling like CVS. I'm just not going to be doing all this stuff. At this point, I know what works for my hair. I've been natural. This will be my eighth year. Yes, there's some things I could learn. Absolutely. I think we can always learn something new. But... I've been with my hair the longest and I know at this point that consistency using the right type of products and basically leaving my hair alone is what's going to help my hair to thrive. As far as growth, do I feel like my hair has grown? This is the funny thing. My hair grows like this, then it goes down like this. So my hair, of course, it, it's, it's grown. Um, it's not where I want it to be, but <laughs> yeah, it has grown. Keep in mind, I cut my hair um when we first started and then i cut it like a couple of a couple of weeks ago so yeah it's grown it's in the front it's a little bit past armpit length actually so um so yeah and this is my hairline hairline is looking hella healthy this is my baby hair y'all like i don't have like seriously let me see if i can find it yeah this is my baby hair <laughs> oh and low key i used to grow hair down here and i would shave it yeah, I was shaving because my hair was growing like, yeah, it was growing. And sometimes it would grow like right here. I, some, it still does that sometimes. I'll get patches of hair down here. That's a blessing. I should, you know, not do that. So, yeah, that is it, you guys. If you have any questions, any comments, any, any suggestions, drop it down below. Yeah, I do know their product reviews are coming up. It's Allocate Naturals is coming up in March, followed up by the main choice. So yes, I'm very excited to try some new lines, some new products and see how my hair goes. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.